So previously, we sketched y is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 21. We first of all worked out where it crossed the y-axis. So that was when x was 0. When x is 0, we get y is minus 21. So it crosses the y-axis at minus 21. We then uh, factorised it. So y is equal to x plus uh, 7 times x minus 3. And when y is 0, that means that either x is minus 7 or x is 3. And that gained us two points where it crossed the x-axis. And so we were able to sketch this as something that looked like this. Going through minus 7 and 3 on the x-axis and minus 21 on the y-axis. So we know now how to figure out where it crosses the x and y-axis. We know how to factorise. But we've also learned how to complete the square. So if I complete the square on this, I get x plus half the 4 is 2 squared. Take away that number squared is 4. Take away that 21 that's still on the outside. So this is x plus 2 squared. Take away 25. So how does this relate to the curve? Well, if you take the negative of that number, minus 2, and you take that number as it stands, so the number inside the bracket changes sign, and the number outside the bracket stays as it is, we get the coordinates minus 2, minus 25, which are actually the coordinates of this point here, the vertex. And so we can find out that completing the square can identify for us the coordinates of the vertex of a parabola. So it's not just a technique or a process that had no meaning. It has given us the coordinates of a very particular point and a very useful point for quadratics. Okay? So that's why completing the square is important.